did I always plan to use the colluvial door in the way it gets used in the book? And by the way, I appreciate you not giving out a spoiler. Uh, yes, I did. I did, yeah. Yes, sir, I see you way back there. Oh, did you see my first kid? Yeah. Yeah. I was great, wasn't I? <laughs> I was so sure I was going to get an Emmy nomination. <laughs> but I didn't. My kids are in there. My, one of my sons has been in uh, three times now. And uh, my oldest son, my middle son, and my oldest son's fiance are going to be in episode eight this year. So everyone but my daughter made it in this year. Yes, way up there. Do you read your own books or listen to them on audiobook? And if so, do they help give you insight in your writing process? Do I read it? Did you all hear that? Because she really yes. projected awfully well, I thought. <laughs> uh, yes, I do read my own books from time to time, although I find myself skipping parts because obviously I know what's going to happen. <laughs> but listening to them does give me a whole different perspective on the books. Uh, Johanna interprets Suki differently from the way I thought I wrote her, so I find that very interesting, very interesting. And yes, ma'am, way back there. I'm sorry, I can't hear you. The new series uh, will have an element of the paranormal. It'll be a little more like the Harper Connolly books, which have an element. An, yeah, an element. Yes, ma'am. Can you pronounce Eric's maker name? Appius Lewis O'Kella. Okay. Thank you. I, I consulted a Latin scholar, so nobody <laughs> tell me I'm wrong. <laughs> yes. How do you feel about fan fiction writers that How write? do I feel about fanfic? Woo um, <laughs> do you all know what fanfic is? Yes. Everybody seems to know fanfic, okay? No, no. Uh, it's fiction. It's fiction written about my characters by people other than me. I mean, I think that's a fair definition. Uh, I don't read it. <clears throat> I don't understand it. I don't object to it. I'm, it's just a non-issue with me. I just I can't understand writing anybody else's characters myself. But. I understand a lot of people have a good time doing that. Do you find it flattering? Is it flat? Well, sure, it's flattering. Um, yeah, it's flattering, but I don't know. It just makes me a little uneasy, I guess. <laughs> yes, sir. I know the that you wrote called The Secret Rage. Yeah, Secret Rage. Um, you know, am I going to write another standalone novel? Maybe not. Um, I'm so glad that, that you like those books. Uh, obviously, they come from a very dark place in my own life. I am a rape survivor myself. Uh, so, but I don't, I don't feel called to write that anymore. Maybe I, maybe I exercised it. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Oh, do I watch the show regularly to see if it's sticking to the books? Well, I know it's not. <laughs> but they do usually send me a screener uh, like a day or two before the show is on the air. Okay, one more question. One more question. Yes, ma'am. Um, I was curious, Steve, do you feel like the strong, you know, all over the books, for the, the benefit of, well, that just sounds wrong. Uh, I'm writing what I feel called upon to write, uh, and I, I like to write strong women. You know, what, what can I say? Thank you so much for such an excellent pop of questions. 
Uh, and if y'all want to come down from your balcony, that <laughs> let down your hair. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to start signing.